You probably clicked onto this video wondering what are the best SARMs on the market or what would be the best three. And I'm gonna give you my opinion on the top three and why they are the top three. But before this video goes any further, I am not a doctor. Do not do anything without your doctor's supervision. This video is all for informational and educational purposes only. And if by chance your guys lab rats need anything, make sure to check out the link in the description down below or halfwicked.com. There is a couple honorable mentions I wanted to make in this video. Number one being MK677. I would love to throw it into this list because it's easily one of my favorite things that has ever been created, but it isn't an actual SARM. It's just often lumped into the family of SARMs is actually a growth hormone secretagogue, so can't really classify it as such. The other one on the list is going to be Carterine, GW501516, another honorable mention, but it is a PPAR, often same thing lumped into the family of SARMs, amazing endurance, cardiovascular, but besides the point, honorable mentions. So without further ado, let's jump into that number three spot, which we are going to have as RAD140. Now, RAD140 is phenomenal for building lean muscle tissue, help aiding in the loss of fat or body fat percentage, better output in the gym as far as strength. It's commonly, I would say, associated with similar effects to that of Anivar, Winstrol. Now, I do also want to point out, I don't believe it's going to be as strong as something like Winstrol. Now, Anivar, on the other hand, I have seen very similar results if run at both actual moderate dosage for Anivar and RAD140 where it was damn near identical. In fact, a lot of the guys I've seen who compete and have their pro cards actually looked better, and this is no joke, with RAD140 than they did with VAR. Now, I don't think it's gonna be as strong as something like Trenbolone or Winstraw, like I mentioned, but for something stronger than VAR, that's pretty crazy, and that's why it's at the number three spot, and why is also one of the most popular that is available. Jumping into the number two spot is ranking higher than RAD140, not because of the strength aspect of how you know much strength is gonna put on how much lean muscle tissue, but just overall how the body feels while on said SARM for your lab rat. And that SARM we are talking about today is Osterine, MK2866. Osterine is not only great for males, but females as well, if of course run at a lower dosage for lab rats. But it will have an improvement to lean muscle tissue, but where it has an advantage, I would say over something like RAD140 is it's more beginner friendly, and it also has other health benefits as well, such as healing of ligaments and tendons, an increase in healing of overall injuries. So especially when you combine that with something like MK677, the growth and healing time is just absolutely out of this world. It's also on more of the safer realm. If I was to you know compare the side effects, the suppression, everything there is, I've seen phenomenal crazy results with Osterine MK2866. And is it gonna be the strongest thing? No, but also it's always the risk to reward with anything in the bodybuilding industry. Industry. If you're going unnatural, if we're talking about testosterone, if we're talking about trenbolone, if we're talking about anadrol, you're weighing the risk to reward of how much you're going to gain out of it. Is it worth whatever said side effect is? Now with Osterine, you are gaining an incredible amount, way more than you ever would naturally and way more than you probably even would with a lot of other things that are out there like pro hormones and such, but the side effects are gonna be very, very minimal, which is nice for a lot of people. And also of course, oral, like every SARM. So a lot of people that have injection phobias and whatnot for their lab rats, easily avoidable and definitely highly, 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 highly sought after. And now this jumps into that numero uno spot. And that is going to be, you guys heard me talk about on this channel quite a bit. YK11. Now I did also want to throw in that if you guys want any information on any of these, you know, SARMs I'm talking about, I have full in-depth videos talking about dosage, cycle length, what to expect out of it, side effects, yada, 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 everything you need to know. So if you're at all curious, go ahead and check them out. YK11, why it is at the number one spot. Like I said, I would probably have MK677 at the number one spot if I was able to put it there. But at YK11, chemical structure is the closest thing you can get to a full-blown DHT derivative steroid. And what I mean when I'm saying that is your DHT derivatives are going to be things along the lines of Winstrol, Anivar, Masteron, more of your drying compounds are going to give a more vascular grainy look. And it's so close in the chemical structure to that of a full-blown DHT that you might as well say that you're here on Winstrol or you're on some crazy anabolic when your lab rat is on YK11. That is how strong it is. And also it has myostatin inhibiting properties. Who knows whether that is indeed factual. It hasn't been disproven, but also hasn't really been proven to the biggest extent in a lot of the studies and everything that has been done. But that is an added 
added bonus that people do say that is on there, which is the myostatin inhibiting. And for those of you that do not know, myostatin is essentially what your body produces to not allow you to get bigger, to continue to grow because your body wants to be at an optimal kind of functional level. So if you're able to inhibit that myostatin, you're able to thus grow and get larger. That's the idea behind it. So it is incredibly strong, which is why of course PCT and everything should fully be advised for anyone, unless you are on maybe like TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. And yeah, if you guys need the full in-depth videos for anything I've talked about in this, I am sure is on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my top three and my honorable mentions. Once again, if you guys need anything, make sure to check out the link in the description down below. You guys can follow the Half Wicked Labs Instagram page if you need updates on anything there or have any questions about anything I'll do my best to try and answer that hope you guys like the video make sure to leave a like on it if you did subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next one